Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Uh, football is where we begin. Cavalier said coach Rudolph Speed says rebuilding the team's confidence is the objective. Following their two-all draw with Arnett Gardens in their rescheduled Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League match at the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex on Thursday night. Arnett hit the front in the 23rd minute thanks to Captain Fabian Reed from the penalty spot. But that was cancelled out in the 33rd by Kyle Ming. A minute later, the hosts were back in front, Joel Cunningham with a goal. But Dwayne Atkinson restored parity for Cavalier in the 39th minute. I think it's a long time we have never ever considered two goals in a match locally. I just believe that um, with our soldier um, game against Cincinnati, I think we probably lost a bit of confidence in who we were supposed to do what. Um, so we just have to build it back, our defensive structure, and um, I'll move on from here. I'm pleased with the way we executed for most part, but um, there's still some areas I think we, we, we still have to fix um, moving forward. The result means Cavalier moved to 45 points but remained in second, one behind the leaders Mount Pleasant, while Arnett are fifth on 39 points. Now, athletes who line up in the 200 meters at this year's Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships will have an added incentive to do so. Any record broken in the, in the half lap event where the boys or girls will attract a special cash prize. Don Webby, CEO of the Grace Kennedy Group, says the incentive is to help mark the 102nd anniversary of the group. a special award of 202,000 Jamaican dollars for any school whose students break the 200 meter record. Let me say that again, because sometimes the 200 meter record is kind of underrated on its back. So we have brought it up front. I was like, listen, any record that is broken in the 200 meters this year, Grace Kennedy will give the school 202,000 dollars. Of course, live coverage of the Asa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships, which is set for March 19 to 23, can be seen on TVJ, TVJ Sports Network, OneSpotMedia.com exclusively, with radio coverage on Hits 92 FM. Now, Jamaica's women have been set 169 to win their regional Super 50 match against the Trinidad and Tobago's women at the Connery Sports Club in St. Kitts. The Jamaicans were yet to begin their reply at sports time. Earlier, electing the bat, uh, the Trinidad and Tobago women were dismissed for 168 in 43.1 overs. Leon Kirby top scored with 48, while Samara Ramnath made 29. Kate Wilmot took 3 for 33 and Vanessa Watts at 2 for 28 for the Jamaican women. There was a wicket each for Captain Stefani Taylor as well as Chanel Henry and Selena White. The Jamaican women are hunting a third straight win. They crushed Barbados women by 200 runs in their opener and followed that up with an emphatic nine-wicket victory over the Leo Darlings women in their second match. Jamaica's women with two wins are atop the table with 12 points thanks to four bonus points. And finally, Shane Pitta and Tyreek Buckner became the first Jamaicans to receive a medal in bombsleigh at the Pan American Junior Bombsleigh Championship on the way in Lake Placid, New York. They picked up bronze in the two-man bombsleigh. Pitta, the pilot, and Buckner, the brakeman, ended third behind American winners Grady Mercer and Logan Raddick with the Brazilian pair of Gustavo dos Santos Ferreira and Onias uh, Merbel uh, finishing second. And that's where we get off the ice uh, for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.